Hola, bienvenidos a un nuevo podcast. El día de hoy tengo un invitado eh, que se llama Lance, Le espero que esté pronunciando bien su apellido, Lance Sh Shuttler, Shuttler. <ríe> y él es el CEO y fundador de una marca que se llama Ascent Nutrition, que viene a platicarnos el día de hoy de todo el tema de la desintoxicación, que me parece un tema fascinante porque mucha gente cree que se trata solamente de tomar jugos durante una semana y realmente no es eso. Hay mucho más sobre el tema de la desintoxicación o el detox. Welcome, Lance. Thank you so much for being here and accepting this interview. Thank you for having me, Dulce. I'm really excited for this. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Could you please share more about your personal journey and what inspired you to venture into the health and wellness field and where is there any specific challenges or experiences that pick you interest in developing your own supplement line? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, my story begins back about 15 years ago when I really got into this, I had a family member who was going through some health challenges mentally And, you know, he sought help from the pharmaceutical industry, standard Western medicine, as most people, you know, did, especially back then, um, and still many people do today. And what the result was, was that, unfortunately, he ended up uh, taking his life due to the use of these pharmaceuticals. And what happened then for me and my family and, you know, those around me, it was just a big awakening into what health and wellness really is supposed to be about. And so that sort of opened the door for me to start looking at the natural solutions and seeing what is already there in nature that we can use as humans to help us mentally, physically, emotionally, and really just use the natural world around us for those helpful, beneficial healing properties that so many of these compounds have. Él dice que descubrió esto hace 15 años aproximadamente cuando uno de sus familiares se enfermó gravemente y empezó a consumir medicamentos de farmacéutica normal. Y desafortunadamente a partir de esto, de estarlos consumiendo, perdió a su familiar, murió. Y esto fue un gran despertar para, para Lance que le abrió la puerta hacia la parte natural, hacia descubrir los ingredientes que la madre naturaleza nos ofrece desde el punto de vista mental, emocional y físico. Y cómo eh, estas herramientas nos pueden ayudar a sanar nuestro cuerpo a través simple y sencillamente de lo natural. En terms of detoxification, your expertise in this topic is particular. And especially considering the common misconceptions about um, detox that involves extreme practices so, such as a uh, week long juice fast. What do you think about it and what is real detox when we talk about detox? Yeah, that's an awesome question, Dulce. So my perspective on that is, you know, multifold in that first, everyone's detox strategy is most likely going to be different because we all have different lives. We eat different things. We consume different things. We're around different environments. Uh, so everyone's going to be really different on what we can do. But there's some things that I've, in general, often suggested and, and that I use in my life as well. And I've been doing these things for years. Uh, the, the big thing with it is really I try to promote the things that are simple, easy, and free uh, because that's what most people are actually going to begin with. And that's where you can actually find some of the most dramatic results with it. So I've got a few little things that I'll share here. So sweating in general or sauna use. Um, sauna and sweating, you know, really are incredibly important for so many different reasons. But one of the biggest things is that it takes extra energy for us to get rid of toxins okay and especially the liver and when we're detoxing and sweating these toxins out through our skin we're actually lifting a big burden off of the liver and off of the whole uh metabolic process that we have as humans and so the point is get rid of it through the skin and take less energy from the body to do it okay and so that's why often when we sweat 
whether it's through exercise or through a sauna, we actually feel most often, you know, pretty great from it because we're getting rid of things that the body does not need. And, you know, we really want to do that. Most studies actually show that if you can do it between two to seven times per week, that's where the most results come from. One thing that I'll emphasize is that, you know, a lot of people don't have access to saunas. So doing anything that you can to do to sweat, even if it's just a walk, that is, you know, fantastic. It's part of why exercise is so great so that we do sweat and get the metabolism going and start getting rid of some of these toxins. Would you recommend also like this type of exercises, hot yoga or in a hot environment to sweat when you go to, I don't know, Pilates, heat Pilates or hot yoga? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Ok, es que le estoy preguntando de la, eh, de la desintoxicación, ¿no? el tema, que él es experto en el tema de desintoxicación y que mucha gente va en el, eh, se va extremo en el tema de la desintoxicación y dicen que piensan en jugos, en una semana de, de hacer solamente eh, fasting de, de jugos y eso pues no lo ve como, como lo ideal y él propone diferentes cosas que podemos hacer que sean simples, fáciles y gratis. Y uno de ellos es el sauna, sudar, utilizar todos nuestros órganos que tenemos para la desintoxicación. Uno de ellos es el hígado, que ya conocemos, pero también la piel. Y si empezamos a sudar todos los días, de cinco, de dos a siete días eh, por semana, nos puede ayudar al tema de la desintoxicación. Entonces puede ser sauna, o yo le preguntaba si el, el yoga caliente, donde vas y haces eh, clase de yoga, o este, pilates, todos estos estudios que ponen eh, los, el lugar muy caliente y te hace sudar más. Ok, keep going, please. Yeah, so another thing is Wi-Fi and EMFs. So this is so simple to do, and I've suggested this to many people around me, and I utilize this practice myself. So at night, if you can, unplug your router. Uh, the big reason is that you're not using it at night and these EMFs exist, whether someone believes in them or not, they exist. And we know that these things can actually be very harmful to us humans. They, they actually destroy DNA. Uh, they create massive free radical damage. And so the best thing to do is unplug your Wi-Fi router at night and then put the airplane mode on your phone on if you can, and keep it outside of the bedroom. You know, when someone's got the phone on and they're sleeping next to it, even if it's just a foot away or a couple feet away, it's negatively impacting the brain and it will disrupt how deep a person can sleep. Um, and so this is something, again, free and simple and easy, but it will make a difference. Whether someone feels it or not, it's going to be individual, but it will make a difference because you're exposing yourself to less EMFs. And so this is definitely a very beneficial thing. I can't believe people that sleep with their phone next to them and it's not on airplane mode and they are receiving all the notifications besides the EMFs, but also notifications that are waking up all day all, all, during the night. And that doesn't allow you to sleep well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. A huge distraction. Yeah. Y otra uh, otra de, de las propuestas que él hace es simplemente apagar tu Wi-Fi en las noches. O sea, apaga tu router, desconéctalo, eh, porque las frecuencias electromagnéticas es algo que existe. No es de que creas o que no creas. Existen, están ahí. Y eso impacta directamente a tu cuerpo, aunque no lo sabemos en este momento cómo exactamente en cada persona, pero eso no sabemos a futuro cómo pueda impactar. Destruye el ADN. Y lo ideal es que también pongas tu celular en modo avión antes de dormir y obviamente que no duermas con el celular a un lado. Perfect. Amazing, amazing. So uh, just a couple other things, Dulce. So a lot of our home care and personal care items are very toxic. And this is, includes fluoride and the toothpaste, aluminum and things like deodorants. There's so many synthetic chemicals, as you know, in shampoos, conditioners, aftershaves, colognes, perfumes, uh, scented candles. A lot of them are synthetic fragrances and not the actual fragrance. 
Um, and then a lot of these things have endocrine disruptors within them, especially heavy metals. Those disrupt the endocrine system, uh, but other like microplastics and other synthetic compounds that we as humans should not be getting in the body. This is a, this is a huge topic and people don't believe it uh, about fragrances that we have to smell like roses and uh, or I don't know, the spe specific fragrance that is totally synthetic. What do you think about uh, essential oils? Are those okay or are not? Yes, absolutely. And even with those two, you want to be very careful and specific because there's companies out there that will uh, say that they're natural essential oils, but they're actually synthetic as well. So you got to really do your research on the companies ask them a lot of questions, be very specific on it. And you can usually get the answer pretty easily on, you know, what are they actually using for those essential oils? La otra práctica que nos dice sobre la desintoxicación, y esto es algo que casi nadie presta atención, es sobre eh, evitar todos los químicos abrasivos, por ejemplo, el flúor en la pasta de dientes, el aluminio en nuestro desodorante, los químicos que traen, o sea, todos los perfumes, fragancias, todos estos que los febris que vemos ahí que venden y que huelen a quién sabe qué, eh, que son disruptores endocrinos y disruptores de nuestras hormonas y también todo lo que contenga microplásticos. Y yo le preguntaba que qué opina él sobre los aceites esenciales. Él dice que está bien los aceites esenciales. Por ejemplo, yo ya cambié. I already changed my, my perfumes for uh, essential oils, but making sure that they are natural, que son naturales los aceites esenciales que podemos utilizar, que nos aseguremos de que digan naturales y que no sean sintéticos, porque muchas marcas dicen que son naturales cuando en realidad no lo son. Tan... <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Um, so then obviously too, clean water, growing things organically if you can, buying organic when possible. Obviously not everyone uh, has access to that in different ways. And so whenever possible, get it locally, ask your farmer, your, at the, per the person at the farmer's market, how are they growing the foods? Are they using pesticides? Um, all of that. And then of course, you know, just general things like building social connections, learning new skills, new activities, um, prayer, exercise, meditation, um, mindfulness, things like that can really help people just detox from the emotional stress that we face on a day to day basis. El agua natural es muy importante consumirla, eh, tratar de consumir alimentos orgánicos, de hecho, yo ya tuve una conversación con la ingeniera agrícola Tania Correa que hablaba sobre los alimentos genéticamente modificados. I actually had a conversation with an agricultural uh, engineer who talked about um, uh, GMOs and how those affect your body, but also environment. Y que sea local, hay que checar los mercaditos. Cuando vayas a un mercadito, pregúntale a quien te lo esté vendiendo si está utilizando pesticidas, eh, herbicidas, etcétera. Y muy importante, las conexiones sociales, meditación, oración, estar en el aquí y en el ahora, el mindfulness. And yeah, basically, those are four, four different things as a protocol that you can start utilizing. Yes, exactly. And, you know, they, they sound simple and they are, and that's the point. You know, we want things especially for people who are maybe learning new things, even people who've been in this for a while, it can always be a little challenging starting a new habit or, you know, building something in new that's in your routine. And so starting off with things that are first actually going to be helpful and second things that are simple. And so that's the whole point of those, you know, really simple things that really do end up making a big shift and, changing things in your life if you start doing them over time so those are the basics but what about adding once you cover those basics then adding something else like supplements could help right yes yes exactly so uh i'll pull up a couple things here you were talking about the pesticides and you know we know what roundup and glyphosate has done um so glyphosate 
it's part of Roundup and it's a pesticide. It stops the seven step vital process important to life. It's called the shikimic acid pathway. But glyphosate will, again, also destroy DNA, which then leads to gut issues, brain issues, neurological, uh, all sorts of things that people have reported, you know, when they're exposed to this stuff long term. Glyphosate, Dulce, actually also turns off the gene called P53. They call this the guardian of the genome it suppresses the function of that. And there's a lot that we could talk about that specifically. Um, but just the short of it is that this gene is the most studied gene in the human genome. So they know exactly what P53 is. And, you know, it's been uh, looked at in a way where these pesticides actually lower the function of it and suppress how it's expressed. Um, and so if we can do things to restore shikimic acid, in our diet, it's very helpful. Um, one of these things is pine needles. So we as humans, we've had this long, fascinating connection with pine trees and pine cones and just the lore of all of it. And we as humans share some of our DNA in common with pine trees. And we have about 3 billion base pairs as humans. Some pine species have about 22 billion. So about seven times the amount of DNA than us humans. And they're amongst the longest living organisms on this planet. Um, but shikimic acid, it's extremely important that's in pine needles that helps with detoxification in different ways, but specifically it's helping to clean the blood and helping to make sure that uh, circulation can take place the way that it should, that red blood cells are clotting as normal, and that they're just functioning the way that they should. Okay, this, so is, what, this is important. Can, can I translate first because it's a lot? Yep, yep, yep. Después de estos, este protocolo que él nos propone de deshacernos, de, que son cosas fáciles, ¿no? Que, que es lo que nos explicó Lance, eh, como una rutina que es simple, pero también es importante, yo creo que de aquí, de las cosas más importantes que resaltó es la comida, ¿no? Comer lo más orgánico posible porque los pesticidas tienen un eh, tipo de herbis, eh, un tipo de sustancia que se llama glifosato que es el Roundup, y el glifosato destruye los siete pasos de la vida, y destruye el, DN, el ADN de nuestro cerebro, de nuestro cuerpo también, y ahí destruye un, una parte del ADN que es muy importante, que es este que nos está explicando aquí, que se llama P57, el, P53, el gen P53, que es el, gar, el guardián del genoma. Y ha descubierto que los pinos, los árboles de pino, contienen un tipo de ácido que se llama shikimic, es ácido shikimic, que ayuda a la parte de la desintoxicación a limpiar la sangre, la circulación y apoyar las células rojas. Ok. Amazing. Um, ok, so then what we've got here, because we were talking about the pine needles, is this pine needle extract. And so a lot of people might have heard over the past couple of years about pine needle tea and tea from white pine needles. This is exactly what we've got. But instead of having to brew a tea, we've got, in it, got it in an extract form. So it's very easy to use. And it's one to four extraction that we do. We hold it in organic vegetable glycerin. So it gives it a sweet taste, um, no alcohol. And so it's got the shikimic acid in it, vitamin C, other nutrients in there that help support the cardiovascular system and detox in general. Um, this also does end up helping the neurological system because it's impacting the myelin sheath. And that's the fatty substance that acts as like insulation for neurons and the neuronal communication. Okay, Can you, that, this is pretty interesting. Eh, él ha desarrollado este suplemento que encontraron de las hojas de pino que tiene esto que se llama el ácido shimic. Shim, shimiric, shimic. Shikimic. Shikimic, shikimic. Okay, shikimic acid, el ácido shikimic. I don't know if it's shikimico en español, but okay, shikimic, ácido shikimic. Dice que sabe dulce. En las hojas de pino lo extraen de ahí y esto apoya a la parte de la desintoxicación de nuestro cuerpo, al sistema cardiovascular, a nuestras neuronas, a la comunicación de las neuronas, nuestro sistema neurológico. 
amazing. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things and we can talk about the humic and fulvic if you would like, Dulce. I'm very interested. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So pull this up too. So another thing is the humic and fulvic acid. So this is organic matter that's decomposed by the soil. And then it basically is all of those nutrients hyper accumulated. And the short of it is that the fulvic acid is a very strong heavy metal chelator. So it pulls out heavy metals, it binds to them and pulls them out of cells. Um, it speeds up enzyme reactions. It gives a little voltage. So it's like a strong electrolyte. And this is something that's produced over hundreds of thousands and literally millions of years by nature. It's like it's like a compost almost, you could say. Um, and this stuff's so strong that some radioactive substances and some pesticides can also be neutralized by fulvic acid. So it does bind to heavy metals, things that just general toxins that shouldn't be in the body. It can help with that. Um, and even so much so as some radioactive substances and pesticides too. Uh, I don't know how to translate binder. Okay. It's agglutinante. Okay. Yeah. Uh, es muy interesante que también eh, descubrió que el ácido húmico, el humic, eh, humic acid en, y ácido fúlvico, que se ha hecho, lo ha hecho la naturaleza durante millones de años, ayuda a unir las células, eh, o más bien, a unir los metales pesados, como que lo, los atrapa a los metales pesados y a todo lo que nos puede llegar a hacer daño, todas las toxinas y a sacarlo de nuestro cuerpo. También se ha descubierto que son, eh, son electrolitos naturales muy potentes y todas las sustancias radioactivas las neutraliza, incluyendo a los metales pesados y las reacciones enzimáticas. Amazing. So another thing they'll say is that there's a lot of good science out there on humic and fulvic. So everything that we just shared, it's all backed by science. Um, and you can see here, I'm not going to name some of these names, uh, but you can see how humic and fulvic is active against a lot of different important things. Uh, and then you can find this on PubMed. So very, very strong stuff. And this is sort of a little visual representation. Um, it binds to these uh, S protein receptor binding domains. So it basically traps these uh, special proteins that are kind of like shedding off of people right now. And so what happens is that the humic and fulvic can kind of create this hydrogel and make sure that those special proteins are not impacting people in negative ways. Um, and then you can see too, humic acid acts uh, to bind to graphene uh, and graphene oxide right here. So we know that graphene oxide is uh, a toxin, a heavy metal that can do a lot of damage. It's, you know, in news right now for different reasons. Humic and fulvic can actually bind to that and impact people in positive ways. So again, it's very strong stuff. This is in a capsule form. So it's not the, the dirt that you see there, but it's capsules easily take them. Um, and we've got people who leave amazing reviews on this who actually feel results. So a lot of things is not just detox, but it's great for gut health. Like you and I talked about Dulce. This is something that I've suggested to so many different people for supporting the gut. And it was always the first and foremost, the, the number one thing that I would suggest. Um, so it's pretty strong stuff. Esto es, esto es muy impresionante. Bueno, dice que todo está basado en ciencia, ¿no? Tú puedes buscar en PodMed los resultados, buscar sobre el ácido fúlvico y el ácido eh, humic acid, es ácido húmico, con H, y eh, todos los activos, ¿no? En PodMed los puedes encontrar que cómo, eh, ahí en esta gráfica, él está enseñando cómo se unen lo, al de lo, a los receptores de las proteínas y crea, en los receptores de estas proteínas crea un hidrogel alrededor y este hidrogel no permite que entren a las células los tóxicos. Eh, por ejemplo, un tóxico muy fuerte puede ser el óxido de grafito, 
que es muy dañino para la salud, entonces este hidrogel hace que no entre a las células cuando nosotros lo llegamos a consumir. Eh, se puede eh, tomar en cápsulas, ese es el, el suplemento que él tiene en Ascent Nutrition y ha visto muy buenos resultados. Hay muchos reviews, mucha gente que ha dejado sus testimonios y que realmente están dando muy buenos resultados y sobre todo, ¿saben en qué? En la salud gastrointestinal. Porque para mí es muy importante ese tema y yo lo quiero empezar a probar tanto en mí como en mis clientes, en mis pacientes. I'm going to start taking it myself and also recommending to my clients. And of course, I always test all myself before recommending, but I see that this is a really good quality product. And that's something else that I wanted to talk about it how these products as a nutrition are different from others in the market yeah so this one i'll start with this one our humic particle size like the the size of that humic acid these are like extremely small compounds to begin with uh but what we do is that we're actually able to make it about 20 times smaller than the average humic acid compound out there against other companies Um, you know, we don't put down other companies. There's so many great products out there. We wanted to make something that we felt was going to be a little bit different. And so that's what we've done. And we don't use chemicals to change it. We don't do, you know, like heat, heat based, uh, extractions with it or chemical based extractions. It's very simple and easy and clean, most importantly, and it gives us a phenomenal product. And so with other products, You know, we've gone above and beyond to make sure first that it's organic. Uh, we are also wild harvesting. It's like literally picking with our hands some of these different products like the pine needles and the pine pollen. Um, and then the omega-3 product, we don't use fish oil, which is commonly used for omega-3s. We go to the source, which is algae. Fish actually eat the algae. So fish are the second hand source in this process for the omegas. We go to the algae to bypass all that. We don't have to worry about heavy metals or pesticides in the fish oil. We just have the pure, clean algae oil that we water extract. Okay. Le pregunto que cuál es la diferencia entre su producto y otros productos en el mercado, porque pues hay muchos, ¿no? De, de ácido fúlbico y de ácido eh, húmico. Dice que ellos tuvieron que crear 20 veces el tamaño de la molécula más pequeña que el resto, que fuera diferente y que se pudiera absorber mejor. No utilizan químicos, eh, no utilizan extracción con calor, son limpios totalmente sus productos eh, porque muchos productos están contaminados con metales pesados que no son orgánicos y los de ellos son orgánicos 100%. Lo recogen directamente, por ejemplo, las hojas de los pinos directamente de de la naturaleza, del bosque, y el omega que utilizan es directamente del de de recurso primario, que son las algas. Por ejemplo, los omegas que encontramos allá afuera están hechos con aceite de pescado, el fish oil. Ellos no, ellos utilizan las algas, porque de donde viene el omega 3 en realidad, el recurso primario es el alga, no es el pescado. Entonces ellos utilizan el alga como su primer recurso en vez de el pescado que puede estar contaminado con metales pesados o pesticidas, hormonas, etc. Amazing. Uh, so where can we find your products? And is there any discount, any special um, gift for, for my audience, discount codes? Yes, yes. Use Dulce and you're going to get 10% off. I know that you've got links in the, in the description, Dulce. So that's the best place for people to find it so that you get credit. Um, but Ascent Nutrition, you can find us uh, through Dulce's links there. Use Dulce, you get 10% off. And that will that's across the whole store as well. So all the products, you get 10% off. And that's the best way to find us. Nos están dando 10% de descuento a la audiencia con mi código que es dulce. Te voy a dejar la información, el link abajo para que le des clic y ahí puedas ir directamente a la tienda de Ascent Nutrition. Son productos que yo misma utilizo, que yo jamás voy a estar compartiendo nada 
que no funcione, que no tenga ciencia de respaldo y por supuesto que para mí lo mejor es compartir algo que te vaya a servir ah, y mi audiencia es muy, 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 es un tesoro para mí. Es like a treasure for me. My audience is like a treasure, so I need to um, share information that is based on science and that, that is why I reach out to you, Lens. Thank you, Dulce. Thank you so much. Thank you. And oh, I think that you have also a personal a personal website that is very interesting. Your story, they can follow you there. Yes, yes. LanceShutler.com. That's my website. And you can find me on all the socials there as well. Okay. Tam también voy a dejar la página personal de Lance para que lo sigan y todas su, sus redes sociales. Thank you so much for this interview. I really enjoyed it and I learned a lot from you. Thank you, Dulce. This was so much fun, and I'm glad that we got this information out there. It's definitely going to help people. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.